Maybe we'll see a fancy businessman in a suit. Won't that be fun? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to AV, which stands for Audio Visual. And it's a puzzle platformer in which you literally uh, see with your, or see through your ears. <laughs> so let's check it out. It's like this really funky Daft Punk vibe going on. You have to hit E periodically to shoot a ping and keep things visible, which uh, seems like a great idea, but I don't think that it's uh, fantastic in its implementation just because doing it so often is kind of annoying. I really think it's cool that every move you make makes a sound. So you're creating the soundtrack as you move through the stages. An interesting thing about a stealth game where you have to see through sound. Wow, that was a save. Uh, is that it's extremely hard to stealth while you're seeing through. Okay. So there are multiple guns that can be used. Yeah, it's very disorientating at times. This gun changes the surface of objects. If I shoot it on the floor with right click, I can now bounce on this this little bobbly. One of the benefits of living in a computer, programs can be very literal when they read code. And when I say literal, I of course mean stupid. There's so much exposition in this game, uh, which I guess would be okay, except that the guy kind of talks like a South Park character, which I do sometimes too. Shit. Uh-oh. I need to go. Open the gate! Open the gate! That's terrifying. Oh, this is back where we started. God damn it. It's extremely hard to navigate uh, this game. There's not really a map feature or directions on where you're supposed to go. It seems a little bare bones to me. Though it should be perfectly obvious for legal purposes, the management is obligated to point out that running into a rapidly rotating fan... <laughs> will result in immediate and lethal dismissal from the company. And life. Oh. I've been dismissed. I never knew how hard it was to be blind. I just completely underestimated everything. Oh, this fucking guy. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Exit from access hallways. Entry to corporate offices. Ooh, maybe we'll see a fancy businessman in a suit. Won't that be fun? Okay, so sometimes they'll give you uh, clues like this that you have to plug in to open the door. Jump over this thing. Jump onto that thing. Okay, that's how you do that. Sucks. Sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. You goddamn bastards. Look at all of them. <sighs> so this has been AV, friends. It didn't quite tickle my fancy, though I do think it is an innovative and above average game. I have given it a 66 out of 100. It wasn't quite a 7 for me, but it did try some new things which is definitely appreciated. So let's break down the score. For the controls, I've given it a 5 out of 10, just because the pinging like a submarine is a great idea, but in execution, having to do it all of the time uh, becomes tedious, and making the level completely dark if you refuse to do it is quite frustrating. So 5 out of 10 for the controls. The fun factor, I give a 4 out of 10. I wasn't really in love with this game. It did try some new stuff, but I found myself mostly frustrated by the um, swapping of weapons and a couple other mechanics. 
For the difficulty, I've decided to give it a 7 out of 10, because it is quite the difficult game, as uh, exhibited here. Replayability, I give a 2 out of 10, as I don't see any reason to replay it once you have beaten it. Uh, if you are able to beat it, and the difficulty is kind of why it gets uh, those two extra points in replayability. Innovation, definitely 10 out of 10. I think they scored big here, and if it was tweaked around a little, I'm sure it would be something extremely enjoyable. For the aesthetic section, uh, the graphics I gave a 7 out of 10. I think they are quite good, even though some of the effects lack uh, uh, some of the effects are a little lackluster should i say i think the projectile should be given more form rather than just looking like the basic brush in photoshop uh the music is extremely good i enjoy the soundtrack a lot especially because you're the one creating the soundtrack the entire time so i've decided to give the music a 9 out of 10 Sound effects is quite good, uh, mixes into the soundtrack quite well. Uh, on that basis, I have given it an 8 out of 10. Story, I have given a 7 out of 10, and the same score for level design. These two kind of mixed together, but not in the best way. There was a lot, a lot, a lot of exposition from the narrator in the story but not much of it told you where to go. You can look back at the audio logs and such to try and get hints, but the world is quite vast, and I found myself mostly just getting lost and confused about the objective. So I think 66 out of 100 is generous. Um, it might be somebody's cup of tea, but it definitely wasn't mine. So if you did enjoy it, or it looks like something you would enjoy, there is a link to the Steam page in the description, and I hope you'll take a look at it for yourself. So, this has been AV, friends. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I hope you will join us for the next time. Until then, bye bye One, two, three, four, goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.